Lincoln Center's Alice Tully Hall at the 2013 CFDA Fashion Awards, also known as the Industry's Oscars, one could wonder how many talented designers, supermodels, and dazzling celebrities would fit on the red carpet. I went through the red carpet line just because there were so many good celebrities, like coming up, you know, passing by. Kerry Washington looks amazing. There's Sofia Vergara is coming through. Oh, God, so many, so many celebs have passed by. So it's going to be a really awesome evening. Well, my sister's going to be here, Rooney, so I'm excited to see her. Actually, I saw Dan Stevens. He was right in front of us. I couldn't figure out who he was from Downton Abbey, which is a show I, I love. I'll, I'll be missing him on it, so that's exciting. I always say, like, I, I love being an actress, and it's my love, but I think that the fashion industry does better events. I'm sorry, Acting World, but they do. It's our Academy Awards. There's no question that you don't come. It's supportive of the talent, the industry, the whole kit and caboodle. It is quite prestigious and it is quite an honor. For the younger designers in the Swarovski Emerging Designer, it's much like Hollywood and the Academy Awards. And just like the Oscars, it was all about who they were wearing. I am wearing Givenchy. It's uh, the new collection that's coming out in a week, so this is basically a debut. It's a Calvin Klein tuxedo. Uh, what can I say? Midnight blue. So, uh, yeah, I, I like it. Rachel designed and made this beautiful thing for me. It's a leather cutout, which is stunning and very comfortable. Um, I feel great. I was just blessed to be here with you, girl. I feel so glamorous. It's definitely exactly my style. I love how tight the arms are, the back is sheer. Yeah, I've really been enjoying tonight so far. The night only got better. In anticipation of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton bestowing the legendary Oscar de la Renta with a Founders Award for his distinct 50-year impact on fashion. Oscar de la Renta has spent his whole life looking forward, marrying classic style with contemporary edge, always working tirelessly on behalf of this industry he loves. So for many reasons that you understand as well as I, please join me in welcoming our friend and a great American, Oscar de la Renta. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am unbelievably honored to have my great friend, I can call her my best friend, Hillary, to present this award to me tonight. Um, this uh, has been a long road, and you know, I, I, I have to tell you that, that I hope that for all of us, and perhaps she would not like me to say this. I hope that she's going to be our next president. And the accessories designer of the year is Philip Lim, 3.1 Philip Lim. Accessories is new to us and it's like, um, it's, a, it's a boost because it's like maybe we're doing something right. And the menswear designer of the year is Tom Brown. Thank you very much. I've had a really good year, and you know, it's you know, there's a lot of people that go that work with me, so it's not just for me; it's for everybody that I work with. Emerging designers Max Osterweiss and Aaron Beatty for Suno clinch the Swarovski Award for women's wear. I don't think we expected this. I didn't expect this at all. It is an honor just to be nominated, um, and then and to win is a real recognition from our peers and mentors and heroes. An elegantly stunning Jessica Chastain was on hand to present Ricardo Tisci with the prestigious International Award. Wow. I want to thank CFDA, Anna Winter, Givenchy, and my team. The Women's Wear Designer of the Year is Jack McCullough and Lazaro Hernandez, Proenza Spooler. Thank you, CFDA. Um, you guys started our careers 10 years ago and these last 10 years have been a dream and a fairy tale. I mean, it's just overwhelming, just to, just to know that people are still liking what we're doing and they're supportive of us and that we're still kind of evolving.
Equally moved, the acclaimed Vera Wang received the Lifetime Achievement Award from friend and mentor Ralph Lauren. Vera, I'd like to present the Jeffrey Bean Lifetime Achievement Award to you. This is um, even more overwhelming than I thought it would be. How do you define a lifetime? Looking back can be both difficult and diminishing. It's the ultimate um, compliment, I think, and when it involves um, an entire body of work, um, that makes it even more significant, particularly when you're being honored by your peers. And by that I mean designers, retailers, stylists, creative directors, show producers, hair and makeup, photographers. It's an entire industry that's voting for you. So it doesn't get better than this. I think acknowledging your peers for all the work you do is quite wonderful. And I think that's really what it's about. It's about acknowledging, you know, for an amazing job done.